I mean, having a dedicated pilot group and then consistently gathering feedback along the way was is something that's integral for us to kind of figure out whether or not this was a good move. Um, obviously, there's budgetary concerns as well that have to be factored in, but try not to make those the primary. Um, it's really getting a group of faculty involved with the tool, get them actively using a tool, and then questioning, you know, just ask them along the way and survey them to see how is this going? Are you liking it? What's the student response been? Like, are you seeing a value in this? Does it meet the expectations that you were expecting? Like, those are some of the questions that we try to really gather. Um, and then I like from there with the smaller initial group, if things look good, you can expand it a little bit further before necessarily. So it's like a pilot phase one and a phase two before full adoption kind of deal. Um, just to kind of gather it. And I mean, if the, if the overwhelming feedback initially is just like, yeah, this is great. Everyone needs to use it. Then, you know, we can push, but I think gathering that feedback, both from the faculty that are involved and also doing student feedback on the tool is really important because if it's something that's like, it seemed really cool and it had some decent functionality, but the students couldn't use it, or I had to write my own instructions. And by the third assignment, I hated using it because no one could figure it out. You know, it's, you know, the, to gather that kind of input is important, I think, along the way.